The month of E3 is over, otherwise known as Summer Games Fest 2022, and there were a lot of presentations for us gamers to sink our teeth into. So many, in fact, that it wouldn't be hard to accidentally miss a couple. While the Xbox Bethesda showcase was phenomenal, and the PlayStation State of Play was the perfect way to kick off June, there was one presentation in particular that really blew us away. And we haven't seen many people covering it, which is so criminal. So we're here to draw your attention to the Wholesome Games Direct, the best direct of Summer Games Fest. This year, Wholesome Games gave us a look at 94 of the coziest titles to cuddle up with in the second half of 2022 and beyond. This presentation was just over an hour long and contained almost nothing but gameplay footage, plus a few words from devs and a partner. Hello. I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry though, none of us have time to go over the entire thing. So we're just going to highlight some of our most anticipated titles and shine a light on some of those wonderful indie devs. Nuzzle up to those like and subscribe buttons and grab a blanket before we start because it's about to get cozy up in here. The Wandering Village is a city building simulation game, which if you've been here for long, you'll know that I love. But this one has a really interesting twist. The ground in the wandering village has become toxic, so a group of people seek refuge on the back of a giant wandering beast named Onbu. And this is where you'll build your town. While you're building your town, you can also build a relationship with the creature to earn its trust and influence its decisions. This concept is really interesting to me and I can't wait to get a piggyback from Onbu. It's coming out on the Xbox Series X and PC in quarter 3 2022, but my fingers are definitely crossed for a future Switch release. A Frog's Tale claims to be just a mere RPG, but honestly, we think it's undercutting itself. While it does feature classic elements such as turn-based battles, it has so much more to offer, including puzzles and platforming, all set to the rhythm of the music. This game actually started its life as just a collection of songs. If something like Cadence of Hyrule was even remotely interesting to you, then consider supporting A Frog's Tale through their Kickstarter campaign. We'll leave a link to that in the description below. Pixel art, booty shaking frogs? Yes, please. <laughs> Lonesome Village is a puzzle solving adventure with social simulation elements and a vibrant cartoony art style. We didn't get a huge look at the game, but it looks like you can farm and explore dungeons maybe. And wherever there's a dungeon, there's a good story. So we're definitely excited for this one. It's coming out on Switch, Xbox and PC sometime this year. Apparently we really love frogs because here's another frog game, this time coming at you from publisher Top Hat Studios. Frogun is a 3D platformer and we all know that I absolutely love those. This one oozes nostalgia though and it would have been right at home on the PS1 in the mid 90s. It's an old soul. The titular Frogun is essentially a grappling hook that will be heavily implemented across a beautiful world of mystical ruins. Collect treasures, race your rivals, and take down fearsome bosses as Renetta sets out to save her parents in summer this year. Puff Pals Island Skies is a wholesome life simulation game with big anime animal crossing energy. There are heaps of customization options for both your avatar and your home, so you can really make the game your own. It has all of your favorite sim elements like farming, adorable villages, and possibly the cutest art style of all time. Puff Pals looks like the kind of game that you could start playing, blink, and realize that 500 hours have passed by. We don't have a release date yet, but Fluff Nest, the developers, are bringing it to the Switch. If you've ever felt bad or a little guilty about deforestation, like I'm sure we all have, then Lumbear Jack is the game for you. You play as a humble bear, armed with an axe, who takes on the advancements of industrialism. Smash those machines with your axe and use their parts to upgrade it, allowing you to take on even bigger machines. Join forces with your friends from the forest and terrorize humans into getting off your damn lawn. It honestly looks like so much wholesome fun. And the best part is that it's out right now. Potion Permit is one of the best looking games in the Direct in our opinion. The art style actually looks amazing. It kind of reminds us of Eastwood in a way. And the concept is so magical as well. You can collect ingredients and use your alchemy skills to brew potions and cure the sick townsfolk. Potion Permit has an aura of magic and charm about it that definitely earns its place in the Wholesome Direct. 
It will be coming to all of the things sometime this year. Hyper Games, the developers of Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley, actually reached out to us months ago to let us know about their upcoming game and offer us potential early access. So it would have been a bit rude of us not to include that game here. Join Snufkin in a melodical musical adventure as he attempts to rid the beautiful Nordic Moomin Valley of the industrious park keeper. The Story Ridge gameplay is actually inspired by the books of Tove Janssen, and the devs have done everything possible to make her proud. Explore the open world with a bit of stealth and a lot of music sometime in 2023. Tiny Witch looks like a combination of Stardew Valley and Overcooked, and we are definitely here for that combo. The Karens seem a little bit more aggressive here than on Overcooked though, because instead of just leaving if you take too long, these Karens start hurling projectiles at you. It looks like a lot of chaotic fun and it'll be coming to PC and consoles on the 1st of September. Chicken Journey looks like the pinnacle of cozy games. With light platforming, no combat and a vibrant pixel art style, it just seems like the perfect game to snuggle up with. Also, chickens. Chicken Journey will be coming out on the Switch and PC later this year thanks to their devs Looneyware. Mail Time is a cottagecore indie game about delivering mail to forest animals. I am so obsessed with this game. The concept, the art style, everything about Mail Time speaks to me. You're literally a mushroom. I've been waiting for this game for what feels like an eternity and it is finally coming out before the end of the year. There were so many incredible games at this year's Wholesome Direct, and we wish we could show you them all, but you would probably be sick of us by now if we were to do that. However, if you do have a spare hour or so, we highly recommend that you go watch the presentation for yourself. You won't regret it, we promise. The Wholesome Games Direct is the one that we look forward to most, but we would love to hear what your favourite announcements were of Summer Games Fest. If you're still here, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Make no mistake, I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs>